Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a face detection algorithm on your Raspberry Pi. So I'm using the, uh, the Pi 4B with 64 bits. And uh, for this algorithm, we will use the Hard Cascade classifier. So what is this classifier? This is these descriptors, which are used to detect edges lines, borders, etc. on the picture and then to detect the face. So what we will do in this video, first we will detect a face on this picture, as you can see here, and then we will do it with the camera. So we will do the live face detection and we will use the flat ribbon camera on the Raspberry Pi. And now we can download the classifier. So we can go to the website here, uh, github.com slash opencv slash opencv. You have the whole files. And if you go to uh, data hard cascade, here you have every classifiers and we will use the frontal face default. So we can go back to the uh, main folder and we can download it under code and download zip. Perfect. It will start the download of the folder. And if I go inside my files here under downloads here, you can see it's downloaded and I can paste it on my main folder. So I will paste it here and then I unzip it. So extract here. And then if I wait a bit, I can see here, I have a new folder named OpenCV4. I can open it. And here I have my uh, files, the same as this folder. I can go inside data, hard cascade. And you can see here, I have the frontal, frontal face default. So this is the one we will use. So we can go back to the folder and we are going to write the script. So we can write here, nano space face detection dot pi, which will open the script. And we will first import the library. So we can write import CV2 and then we import the picture. So image equal to CV2 dot imread and between the parentheses, we can write the name of the picture. So picture dot jpg. And then we have to, uh, so this is a picture, we have to import the classifier. So we will call it face underscore cascade equal to cv2 dot cascade cl classifier. And inside the parentheses, we have to write the path of the classifier. So it's inside OpenCV, data, hard cascade, and we can copy and paste this path. So this is OpenCV, data, hard cascade. So dot slash paste. Okay, and then we have to add the name of the classifier which is here hard cascade underscore uh, frontal face underscore default dot xml so copy and paste and now we have to send the picture through the classifier which will return the coordinates of the face so the x y the width and the height of the face and we can write chord for coordinate equals to face underscore cascade dot detect multi scale so multi scale of the image and we can print the coordinates okay print code we can save this script and run this script so python face detection dot pi and okay it will normally print the coordinates of the face okay so we, we have here the x 
so 307, the y, 500, the, the width and the height of the face. Okay, let's go back to the script and uh, print it on the picture. So we can uh, say here x is equal to coordinate, so chord of 0, 0. Y is the chord of 0, 1. Okay. W for the width is equal to chord of 0, 2. And the height is chord of 0, 3. Perfect. And now we can draw a rectangle. So CV2 dot rectangle. We draw it on the, uh, the image. Starting from x, y. And going to x plus w. So x plus the width. To the y plus the height. We will use the pink, uh, the white color, so 255 for our RGB, and the line width is 5. Then we can uh, do the imshow, so cv2.imshow, we call it preview, and we will do the, the imshow of the image. And then we can do cv2.weight key of 0, so when we press on the keyboard, it will uh, destroy all windows. So cv2 dot destroy all windows. Perfect. And now if we uh, run this script, so Python phase detection dot by. We wait a bit. Okay, here we have the picture with the rectangle of my face detected. So you have. On the bottom left corner, the position of X and Y. And on the top right corner, you have X plus the width and Y plus the height. And now we are going to create a function uh, we will call every time we have a new picture. So let's go back to the script and let's define our new function. So uh, we can go under face cascade, we can write def, the name is detect underscore face, and we need an image, so img, and we will keep uh, the function which calls the classifier, which is chord equal to face cascade dot multiscale, but we have to change the parenthesis into img. And then uh, we will use another function, a for function. So for x, y, w, and h in chord, so in the coordinates, we will draw the rectangle. So we can delete the print x, y, w, and h. And then we can draw the rectangle. We just need to change image to img like this perfect and then we return the uh, the image so return i m g and we just need to call this function with the image so image equal to detect face the detect underscore face of the image we just imported in uh, the second line which means we will uh, then call this function and return it in image. So we can save it, run this code, okay. And normally it will uh, run in the same way as before. So, uh, okay, here we have the picture with the rectangle. Let's do uh, the last step, which is uh, the live face detection with the camera. So we can delete the import of the picture and replace it with the line cam equal to cv2 dot video capture of zero for me, but it can be one or two for you, which means we will use the flat ribbon camera. And then under the function, we can write while true. So 
it will run uh, the whole time while it's true, so while true. Okay, we can call the, the camera. So we have read an image equals to cam.read, which means we will read the camera and have a return value and the image. And then we can call the function, so detect face uh, of image. And then we will uh, use the function of imshow. So we can keep the same function. And after we have the same function as the previous video, which is if cv2 dot wait key of one and uh, if we press the letter Q, so zero xff equal to alt Q. Okay, then we break the loop, the while loop. So if we uh, save this script and if we run it okay it will open the camera and it will be uh, it will be the live face detection so you can see my face and if i move a bit my face you can see it is following the rectangle follows my face that's all for this video